Hello, good morning. My name is Shaida. So today, me and my team members will present to you about BATA Corporation. So when it comes to BATA, people always think that it stands for buy and throw away. But why not we change this tagline to buy and treasure always? Most of us growing up uh, have a fond memories of BATA school shoe. It used to inevitably be the first pair of school shoe for every boys and girls. Few things define a lifestyle the way shoes do. We are among the very best in the world at making them. That's why 1 million plus people choose to buy Bata every day. Okay, let's start with the company history. Company founded in 1894 by Thomas, Anna, and Anthony Bata. Their family history had over 300 years in shoemaking and they are the ninth generation. Bata first store opened at Capitol Building, Singapore on August 1931. Thomas Bata established Bata Shoe Company as manufacturers, distributors, and marketers of footwear. Today, Bata has grown to be a leading footwear manufacturer in Singapore and operates a retail chain of more than 40 stores. Okay, this will be the map of Bata around the world. Quality has always been the top priority Besides, Bata provide comfortable, stylish, and affordable shoe. Okay, so now I will hand over to the next presenter, Noor. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Noor, and I'm the next presenter taking over Noor Shahida. This slide shows the market position Bata is currently holding, basically a leader in most categories of footwear. For market penetration, Bata has penetrated the market really well. Bata is present in large cities to small towns. This helps in maintaining its customer base and also capturing the new demand. Next slide is about industry analysis. Industry analysis is a market assessment tool used by businesses and analysts to understand the competitive dynamics of an industry. It helps them get a sense of what is happening in an industry. Example, demand supply statistics, for Bata, is decline in physical retail and rise of internet retailing. Next slide is about strength analysis, which is part of SWOT. SWOT analysis helps the best match between environmental trends, opportunities and threats, and internal capabilities. A strength is a resource or capacity the organization can use effectively to achieve its objectives. An opportunity is any favorable situation in the organization's environment. For Bata, is market penetration, strong distribution network, and cost advantage. Next slide is for weakness analysis. In SWOT analysis, W stands for weaknesses are those characteristics of a business that give this advantage relative to others. Weaknesses are all those things you do not perform well. SWOT witnesses can prevent you from achieving company goals and objectives. For Bata, it's low market share, low quality image and falling sales. I will now hand over the presentation to my groupmate Mario. Thank you. Thank you, Ner. Now I'll be speaking about Bata's opportunity analysis. The first opportunity would be expanding its local market share. The disposable income among younger adults has been on the rise globally. This allows them to spend on non-essential uh, items, such as fashion, which gives Bata the opportunity to convert them and therefore expand its market share. The second opportunity would be growing the ASEAN market. Bata has always had a strong presence in the emerging markets due to a first mover's advantage, which gives the company a head start to capitalize on the high growth rate in the ASEAN region. And the last opportunity would be growing demand in the quality footwear category. This is another area that Bata can explore in the uh, premium footwear category where consumers are increasing their discretionary expenses. This gives Bata an alternate stream of revenue while they continue to build on its strong brand name. Bata's threat analysis. Ever since 2010, globalization has been rapid and more brands are able to penetrate the market. This has resulted in stiff competition which made it harder for Bata to increase its customer base and market share. Second, high rental. Bata's main challenge has always been to reduce the rents of its 40 retail outlets in Singapore. Most of them are located in heartland malls where traffic is high during the peak periods. 
and last would be cross-border sales. This will happen when people from the neighboring countries start selling shoes to Singapore via cross-border e-commerce. The shoes may appear to be a good deal to local consumers as their retail selling prices are significantly lower due to the exchange rates and product mix in the relevant countries. As the global footwear market is primed to achieve 371 million US dollars by 2020, Bata is likely to solidify its position as the market leaders. The brand positions itself to be a supermarket for shoes where it is able to serve every consumer regardless of gender and age. The four P's of marketing are the product, price, placement, and promotions. School shoes, kids, and women's shoes has always been the bread and butter of Bata in Singapore. They are not only iconic, but also one of the most affordable shoes in the market. They are also marketed separately into Bata brands like Be First and North Star, for school shoes, power for sports shoes, and bubble garments for kids, Marie Claire for women. Second, Bata has always prided itself on three things that is comfort, quality, and affordability. The average price of its shoes stand at about $35. The company has also made sure to make its products accessible to its consumers by strategically placing its retail outlets in heartland areas making it one of the brands with the largest footprint in Singapore. And as for promotions, Bada has traditionally shaped its promotions around school holidays and festive seasons. Usually, Bata will offer bundle deals or discount quantity where consumers can enjoy further reductions as they purchase more units. Hi, my name is Max and I'm the next presenter. In this segment, we'll go through some of the common digital channels used by Bata. So, what is a digital channel? A digital channel is a sales channel that is electronic in nature as opposed to physical channels such as retail. Some common channels include websites, emails, SMSs, pop-up ads, Facebook ads, and so on. Websites have become essential in every business. It has evolved over the years and it provides a dedicated platform where businesses can reach out, educate audiences about the brand, products, and services. However, this requires a solid understanding of your target audience as the effectiveness is also dependent on the content marketing strategy. Having a website also pro provides potential customers a platform to browse even if they are physically unable to head down to the store. With the ease in opportunity to browse the selection, sales should increase as the barriers are decreased. Emails have been proven over the years as a channel that delivers medium to high ROI for business. And the one thing that can't be taken away from this particular channel is its versatility. Although email content marketing might not be the newest technology available, it allows you to apply the latest trends in content marketing such as personalization and automation without hurting much of your marketing budget. Emails also provide customers, suppliers, and potential partners an avenue to connect, all in which advances a business in the right direction, be it getting constructive feedback, handling a complaint, or getting opportunities to connect with another up-and-coming business. Social media marketing is on this list for some very worthwhile reasons. But this isn't just about social media users reaching the 3.81 billion mark. From being a channel that people use to establish personal connections, social media has evolved into something grander, bigger, and better than what it was originally envisioned to be. Social media is now utilized by almost all businesses for marketing. The younger generation are also better versed in this space which allows a boost in certain categories and make them an easier market to target. Thanks Max, now it's followed by web search, pay and organic search. Did you know that over 75,000 Google search queries are performed every second? Just imagine how many people are searching on the internet. Given that people use search engine for research, shopping and entertainment, the opportunity for business are huge. With more opportunity come more chances to convert to potential sales. On the surface, it might seem inconvincible that pay search, also called search engine marketing, will have potential to give you return of investment. After all, you are paying 
for each click you get unlike search engine optimization where people find you organically and technically for free which why digital marketing has slowly become an essential part of any business as of the mobile the number of mobile phone users is increasing day by day and this trend is expected to continue in the years to come because of this it only makes sense to serve promotionally promotionally content to mobile user and thanks to your targeting strategies where location information is used to recommend product or service more conveniently customer experience can be consistently improved as well lastly is display advertisement display advertisement is allowed you to use image audio and video to communicate your advertising message better these are shown on website email platform social media and many other digital channels that offer advertisement placement usually in the form of banner thank you for watching